ultimate's been producing content and streaming a lot and in front of him stands Komori, a really awesome Pichu. More, more than an awesome Pichu, Komori is that game is, a, is too many players fighting to each other actually. Komori is a player from Germany playing Ice Climbers and Peach on melee. He's a, he's a player <laughs> on the Rising actually. So seeing both of them playing right now is kind of fun to be honest. And guys, that was the first, this is the first game of the second round of winners. Once again, check out that bracket. Yep, and Pokemon Trainer. So him being able to switch to a character at any moment of the game is really, really strong because you can adapt to your opponent, try to cover as many options as you can, for example, with uh, Avizor. Here we can see it. Much more focusing on projectiles and spacing. And Pichu really rush down, oriented to the character. But really small, combo heavy, but can get killed quite easily. Exactly. That, that's kind of the, of the how, how do you say it? Like the all-in kind of character. Yeah. It's super, super light, really, really, really light. So now it's, oh, good job, Log. So now, if, uh, that's the thing. Now is with his heavy Pokemon, uh, Charizard. At any point in time, he could have killed him. Find the Alp Smash, that was it. But like, he's so tiny, he can just like sneak in between all the hitbox of his opponent, just avoiding anything, making such great pressure, getting the kill kind of early if he wants to, getting great edge guard tools also. At the, at the eye visor, they're just coming out right now on the stage. Yep, <clears throat> and left and focusing on the side piece, just to, you know, keep his uh, opponent away from him. Pichu wants to get in your breathing room. And here comes the edge guarding situation, of course, which is back to Charizard. Oh. But this SD here, unfortunate, really unfortunate for Komori. Yeah, but it's sad. Now staying to Charizard, not wanting to get killed early with uh, with his uh, with his uh, Squirtle. And now this is three stocks to one. It will just like build even more damage to keep uh, his uh, his advance, keep his lead during that uh, during that game. <laughs> All right, good yep. call. Really good curl, he's trapped at the ledge, up smash to see if he can cover something like a, uh, you know, offensive option. Oh, oh no, side no. B, all yeah. right. Yeah, don't jump too much in front of a, of a Charizard, yeah. don't jump too much. Because as soon as you can see, like, a, a, a laggy move will just, like, Flare Blitz right away. But he ran after shielding that Flare Blitz, after the game, and that was it. Now we're at 6-4%, that can be the grab and the up B as he showed us. And take care of the Darren oh. fortunately for Komori. <coughs> Just get trapped under the stage. Yeah. JV3. One thing also to note is like the side B of uh, of Ivisor are are two things. First, a very good projectiles. Mm -hmm. They can keep up distance. It's a fast projectile that you can spam and moving with it. You know, it's really good. But also, if you hit your opponent, it's, uh, it's send him in a perfect upward direction. And with Ivisor. Oh boy, you want you, you want your opponent to be upward, just yep. uh, just above you <coughs> for the up air, for the up B, or even for the landing. Never mind, but it'll catch those. It will catch those. So the projectile of Ivisor is just yeah. so good. And yeah, of course. And on top of that, it Pokemon gives you Pokemon. enough time to switch to another Pokemon if needed. Really, this projectiles man is something. Here we go. Back on Pokemon Stadium, I believe, yes. I mean, it's a Pokemon match, that's normal. Of course, yeah. What would you expect from a Pokemon match, right? <laughs> Squirtle against Pichu. So Squirtle, kind of a combo-heavy character. Like Pichu, okay, got trumped. Whoa! Yeah, you can you can actually footstool Squirtle and, and he goes into this uh, animation. It's not easy to do, but it did, it did. Crazy <coughs> good, crazy good. All right. Water type against the electric type. All water type matter. <laughs> you know, reflecting back on the Beast 6. All right, the side B tried just like get in, but this time Komori just shielding every one of them, just ready to make the force match. Komori way more patient this time, playing a lot <coughs> of the dash dance, you know, like moving around like that, making him with, making the punish. Now we got the Ivysaur getting the grab, though, not the up air, but still the, the, the landing, trying to make the catching him. So can projectiles, maybe to try to catch a roll, taking some distance, get the center, but the neutral to cover, contest the forward air, get the grab, and now Liffen is on the corner. Yep, he's cornered here, but Ivysaur is kind of a midweight character, so not so light. Uh, has, doesn't really, uh, can get killed at this moment, because Pichu still has a really for a strong forward turn, but again, can kill Ivysaur. Okay, on the tech chase here, still using this projectile, you know, to build up the percents here and wait for the right moment to strike. Yeah, but realized by Komori just 
just approaching, you know, little by little. But now this is a heavy character. And I really do feel like this is only a one-month opinion, though. But I feel like uh, Pichu really struggled against heavy character, like, really a lot. Oh. So Zack and me with just one fair going on the plat on the side platform, just falling down, making that glow on that tiny and cutie Pichu. I mean, this this platform, like, this forward air was covering so many options from Pichu. We're a really smart choice from left and here. And he'll stick to the Charizard because really, really heavy character. Won't get killed that is early. Yes, abusing the up smash to build up some persons here. Up tilt, up air to threaten the Pichu, and he's already at the ledge. I'm really surprised that Pichu reach uh, the, uh, the up smash, sorry, reach Pichu on the ground, to be honest. Take care of the flare bridge, back in the center, and finally landing on the side platform, uh, uh, lowing him to avoid that oh. up smash. That dash there, getting shield, getting uh, back throwed, but not enough still to get the kill. Now the oh. flame is once again, and unfortunately this time, he made it an early one, you know, Komori was waiting for the early one, but this time he delayed it to catch it when he was at the same uh, lane as oh, And what a touch! Oh, switches back to Squirtle to have the iframes and, well, avoid the kill setup here. Really smart choice and switches back to Charizard because 203%, pretty heavy character. And see, he's always going for the side B because he's on his first stop, 200%. He can do it. He really can do it. He's allowed to do it because only one stock, uh, no stock has been taken on Komori's side. So he's just abusing side B. He's just abusing side B. It's just, it's just. Left hand sometimes is a kid. He is a kid. I'm letting you know that right away. He is a kid, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And he's going right away with the side B, forcing the shield, getting the grab and making that up B. I love the condition, by the way, his opponent to get that grab also, because he meant like during the wall, first, second stock with Ivesori was just like throwing up projectiles.